Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode of The Bad Batch. We're going to continue on and watch episode six today, Tribe. Last episode was kind of like its own little, like, small story. Again, very um, Indiana Jones style. So we'll see what's in store for today. I saw the thumbnail had a Wookiee, so that's always exciting. So without further ado, let's get to it. It's like a droid Echo, Omega. ship. Got the ship. Man, that is just like fully droid run, huh? They're harboring Wookiees. Oh. Oh. Stop! You're hitting him. Halt, humanoid. I don't want to assume, but is that Gungi? That cute little tooth. Hurry. It's gotta be the toothy. He's getting his stuff, isn't he? His lightsaber. What are you doing? You need to go before they find you. Omega, let's get back to the ship. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. He's a friend. Those droids are at the trauma. Come on. You can't smuggle living beings. <laughs> Oh, yep, there it is. I it's lightsaber. I want. Now stand down or be destroyed. I love it so much. Why is he sitting back there alone? Because he's scared. He's been through a lot. What's wrong? He doesn't trust us. Well, seeing how all clones were given an order to execute the Jedi, he has good reason to be cautious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about what happened, but we are not like the other clones. We did not follow that order, and we don't work for the Empire either. <laughs> Translate. My Wookiee's a little rusty, but I think he says his name is Gunji. Gunji. <laughs> <laughs> You catch that? He's so been on cute. the run since Order 66 and was attempting to reach the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk before he was captured by those smuggling droids. I love him. Beautiful. We're heading to a village we know of. Do you remember anything about this planet? Mm. What did he say? From his dreams. Mm. He has such a cute little purr. They're swarming us. He says they will not attack unless we pose a threat. Oh. <laughs> mm, I just I'm gonna scoop him up. destroyed our home too don't worry we'll find your people what do you see it's just a reminder of oceans and they have a wookie hostage oh. how did they get their hands on imperial tanks stay on schedule is that a transdotion dust he looks more like a snakey Is that like their ancestors? Oh. They're shooting the kill. I don't know if Gunji killed yet. Oh, just kidding. Stop the flames 
infection was spreading. Stop digging. Ah! Ultra infections. Oh. Are those the creatures again? Something bigger. Or a kitty cat. Oh my. Ooh. Oh, he came back. I think they all look similar. <laughs> Her name is Yana. She appears to be leading them. We are returning him to his homeworld, but he doesn't know what village he's from. We were soldiers of the Republic, but let's just say we don't see eye to eye with the Empire. Lightsaber Mark. Oh no! Jedi. We need to notify Imperial Command. Not if I find the Jedi first. Yeah, he's an interesting look on transition. Raise the jungle to its roots. A if he is. To whoever finds the Jedi. No thanks. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Yan has agreed to let Gunji stay with you. Is it alcohol What about or the Transoceans? Are they playing to the tree? What are they doing? They're asking the trees for help. They're talking to the trees? They believe this planet belongs to the trees, and they are allies in this fight. We'll take all the allies we can get. Oh. They can't run far. That guy sounds like crosshair a bit. Ooh. Have we seen those creatures before? Like lemur cats? Jedi. Watch out! Yeah, you can't really fling away a flamethrower. <laughs> Wrecker loves it. <laughs> you have are you really just flamethrowing yourself in? They don't seem very uh, dangerous. Oh yeah, wrap them up. Oh, dinner time. I love you know, I that. Can get used to this. <laughs> ah, good. Not bad. When a young one leaves, the trees weep. But when they return. The trees sing. As this child has found his new home, perhaps one day we all will find a new path. Hopefully, one far away from war. Ah! I love that episode. <laughs> I mean, I just love when Wookiees are involved and Gungi. I call them Gunji, but when Gungi's there, I just love him so much. And I completely forgot he was going to be in this show, so it was a happy, happy accident. But I love this episode um, for all the reasons that I just explained. But again, I love when things tie back into connection to the Earth Mother, or whatever you want to call it, or nature. Um, so like them just talking about how this planet belongs to the trees and them having that relationship. I don't know if we've ever meant heard or a mention about that for Wookiees, but I like that addition or knowledge. I love the sweetness Omega has with um, Gungi and just, she's always a caretaker. She's always caring and wanting to make sure people are looked out for. And she heard cries for help and she helped this person. You know, you saw the look of terror and anger when he first saw the clones and not knowing to trust them or not. But then just realizing, obviously, he's like, well, these folks are helping me and the bots are against me. So one option's better than the other. So even though there was a lot of uncertainty and fear, he went with the best choice. And luckily, um, Omega's sweetness and care helped to make that transition easier. And then not only that, but the clones, you know, 99 being willing to help 
you know, the people, because she, I believe Echo said, like, they've been allies for years and we should stick around and help to fight them. Like they've fought with us for all this time. And I think, again, this, it's like slowly these missions are tying more and more into fighting against the empire, fighting for those who were allies before or fighting for people that are trying to do what's right. Whether they're meaning to or not, they are kind of doing what I think, you know, Omega wants for them, what I believe Echo wants, you know, helping to fight against the empire, you know, a new purpose for them. It's just tying in more and more that they're all, <laughs> they're all not really fighting against it or countering it anymore. They're they're just kind of doing it. So it's like a natural um, transition into that. And I again, I love the little note of Wrecker being one with the way of the Wookiee, <laughs> the the roaring and the battle and the similar chants, and then going diving right into their way of life with the consuming of that beverage, whatever it is. It looked like a clear liquid. I don't think it would have been that exciting for water. So I imagine it's some sort of elixir or alcohol perhaps, but yeah, overall, it's a really fun episode. Again, a lot of elements that I personally love and I, I'm always a fan of Jedi. That's kind of like my big draw in the Star Wars. And so having a little bit of that with Gungi and especially him as a character is so lovely. So. Yay, I was so happy to have this episode, so I hope you guys were too. Thanks for being here and watching with me. If you want to show support for the channel, you can give the video a thumbs up, liking it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that'll let you know when videos are uploaded and you can give it a watch. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you on the next one.